It's kind of like when 4K first came out and the only people who owned it were like tech CEOs and NBA stars. Uh, 8K will be the next standard. We're all going to eventually have 8K TVs if we're buying them, but it's going to be a while until the prices come down. It's not really like a must-have thing. It's not something that's going to just completely change your viewing experience. It's just kind of the next iteration that they have to come out with in TVs. because of a lack of 8K content, you know, people can enjoy a 8K image from any other type of sources. And the sources have various, you know, as you name it, you know, YouTube, Blu-rays, DVDs, and so on. So that is the major benefit. Right now we can have this outstanding picture without, you know, investing so much in other, you know, contents. We waited for a long time to get 4K content, and there is no 8K content on the market right now. So we're in a little bit of the same situation, except everyone is talking about AI and upscaling, how their upscaling technology is using AI, and it's really intelligently kind of putting everyone's faces back together. It's really cool, but at the same time, there is no 8K content to compare it to. You can also find BQ in Xbox speakers, which you will see further. It's very hard to convey, convey 8K quality on a 4K TV that's in your living room. Yeah. And so it takes a little bit of effort, it takes a little bit more time to show people the benefits, but once they see it, they want it. Thank you.